Coco channel and to another Coco Chen Saturday. Today, as you can tell from the title, we are doing a Sephora play box. This is July's box. August. July. July has been gone for a while. Um, so today is August box from Sephora. So I have not peeked. I do not know what is in here. I haven't seen any other people's unboxings. So let's see what we got. August 2016's theme is the eye openers. Oh, pretty. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, I love the little bag. It's so cute. So here is the little bag. It has a little wink on it and it says wink outside the box instead of think. Get it? Um, so let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so the first thing in here is a little eyeliner and this is from the Sephora collection. It says rise to the taupe. <laughs> um, contour eye pencil 12 hour wear waterproof in flirting game um, creamy easy to apply pencil with long lasting 12 hour waterproof formula and a shimmery taupe shade that was hand picked for you I don't know how it's hand picked if for me if <laughs> they gave it to everyone um, so it says how to a subtle smoky eye uh, ain't nobody got time for all that, but it is a gorgeous shade. It's so creamy. So pretty. And it is really tiny, but it's like super cute. Look at how tiny it is. But let's be real. Nobody goes through eyeliner pencils when you have a huge collection that quickly. So the color is so pretty. Okay, so that is really cool. That's cool. Um, they have a ton of colors, actually, um, that they printed on the side and on the back. So it's like the whole range. Really exciting. And I wish that they told you how much it retailed for, but alas, it does not. Okay, moving on is a Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I can't remember if I like this one or not. I know. Um, so it says, lengthening and volumizing mascara coats eyelashes with triple black pigment and buildable creamy formula. So a how-to tip is don't toss used mascara brushes, aka spoolies. Give them a good wash to remove product and bacteria. Then use them again to apply brow gels, separate lashes, or after to separate lashes after applying mascara. Hmm. So it says that Urban Decay tested more than 80 formulas before finding just the right blend to this pitch black mascara. Did you know mascara wasn't available in tubes until the 1950s and before that women used small fan brushes to apply to the lashes. If you're going for a retro look, give it a try. That is really interesting. So I'm actually really excited. I don't, I feel like I have tried this before, but it says bigger, blacker, and badder. So I think I'm going to keep this and give it a go. I love mascara. Um, okay. So next is a Makeup Forever shadow. <gasps> what? Um, so it says, um, this is an I-544 highly saturated iridescent pink granite eyeshadow made with a unique, oh my gosh, <gasps> made with a unique gel powder formula and ultra fine pigments for smooth color. <gasps> this, it, the, like, the consistency is really interesting. Um, so it actually looks very similar to the crease color I'm wearing today. Um, just like you can contour your nose or cheeks, it is also possible to use the same principles to enhance your eyes using shadow and liner. <sighs> that actually goes really well with that, um, liner that we got. So again, that is in the shade I-544. That is really exciting. I wonder if I can take this bad boy out and put it in a Z palette. So I don't have a ton of these little plastic things everywhere. Um, Okay. Moving on, Lancome Energy Day V, um, Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. 
Um, so this is a moisturizer, concentrated energy, energizing liquid lotion visual, visually relieves dullness, diminishes signs of fatigue, and promotes a healthy looking glow. That's exciting. So it's just a little itty bitty size. So I probably will put that away for one of you guys. Um, next up is something from Caudalie, um, Reservatoire Lift Eye Lifting Balm. Um, so this is an innovative eye cream, visibly lifts and smooths the eye area with breakthrough patented formula while reducing the look of dark circles and puffiness. Okay, so it says eye creams do this, not that. You guys seem to really enjoy these little helpful hints that they give. So I'm going to read this to you guys just in case. Why I'm wearing a white shirt while swatching makeup, I don't know. Okay, so the delicate skin around the eyes is sensitive and one of the first areas to show... One of the first areas to show signs of aging, protect and care for yours with the following tips. All right, ready? Do apply cream to your brow bone, under eye area, and the outer corners. Don't put on too much. A pea-sized dab is enough for both eye areas. Tap gently, massage it in with your ring finger. Don't rub or pull at your skin. If it moves, you're pressing too hard. Let it sink in for about a minute before applying other products. Don't skip your shades. Sunglasses prevent sun damage and squinting that strains the eye and your skin area. I am the sunglasses queen. Um, okay, so when to apply. Not sure when to, not sure where your eye fit, oh my god. Not sure where your eye cream fits into your skincare lineup. Pat it in during your morning and night routines after applying mists essences and serums but before moisturizers and oils so that's good to know um so I am doing it correctly which is good that's a good assurance so um I'm really excited for that I've heard Caudalie is a really good brand I don't know that I've tried too many things from them I know I've tried at least two things and boy boy both of them were moisturizers so I'm definitely keeping that sorry okay next up we have or last thing, is a perfume. Um, and this is from Clean Reserve. And this is... Blonde Rose. <laughs> um, so this is the Reserve Blonde Rose Classic Yet Edgy Bouquet of Rose, Jasmine, and Peony above a sandalwood base evokes feminine sophistication and allure to the blends of the earth. Inspired by the beauty and purity of the natural world, Clean Reserve Perfume is crafted with gentle, cruelty-free ingredients, simple packaging, and recyclable materials. Play hack. Want your clothes and towels to smell amazing? Line your closet drawers and shelves with a pretty tissue paper that has been spritzed with your favorite fragrance. Fun fact. Rose scents are known to soothe the nerves, so give yourselves a quick spray next time you're feeling on edge. Let's give ourselves a spritz. Watch, I'm not going to like it, and then I'm going to smell like this for the rest of the day. And I didn't even... It, all I can smell is alcohol, really. Um, and the bottle definitely leaked, like it's definitely leaking out of the side. I can't tell if I like that or not. Hmm. Overall, I think this is totally worth the $10. Number one, we got a Makeup Forever eyeshadow. Hello. Yes, please. Um, I am kind of excited about this mascara. I can't remember if I like the perversion one, but it seems as though this one is a different formula. Um, because it says bigger, blacker, and batter. I'm assuming it's a new formula, so it's a really decent size. And I freaking love the deluxe size samples of mascara. I feel like they really give it to you in the deluxe samples. And then once you go to the full size, it's like 10 times worse. I feel like they trick you with these deluxe samples. So if you can ever get deluxe size samples of mascaras, always get the deluxe size. Don't buy full size mascaras because it's a trick with with a lot of them anyway. Um, 
the Lancome thing I could live with or without, honestly. Um, I am really excited about this little pencil. I feel like it was really, really um, smooth and creamy, and I feel like they paired it really well with the eyeshadow, and I think that's really amazing that they put, like, time and, like, thought into that. Um, I am really excited about that eye depuffing cream. I'm all about that depuffing and dark circle get rid of life. <laughs> English properness who needs it not this girl but yeah definitely worth the ten dollars what did you guys think did you think that you would do you think that you would have paid ten dollars for this box let me know in the comments down below um so that is it for this subscription saturday i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely give it a thumbs up so i know you'd like me to continue doing subscription saturday um if you are new hello and welcome my name is Brittany coco and you are watching the coco channel please subscribe if you're not already. If you have not seen the international giveaway that I am doing, watch the video down below. It's the top seven of summer, a collab I am doing with my very good friend Shauna from The Love of Makeup. You want to win this giveaway that her and I are doing. Trust me, go watch the video linked down below. And so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching.